If I might ask Senate and staff to please take their seats for a special presentation. Will senators and staff please take their seats? The president recognizes Senator Shootmaker. Thank you, Madam President. It is a privilege and an honor to stand here before you to recognize a true hero. James McLuhan, who was joined by his wife, Cherie. Mr. McLuhan served in the United States Army during the Vietnam War between 1968 to 1970, including one year as a combat medical specialist in Vietnam. The Vietnam War was a time of conflict for our country. Many opposed the United States engaging in this conflict, yet many men and women answered their call of duty when they were drafted, including Mr. McLuhan. He answered the call of duty and served faithfully with honor. Only two months after Vietnam, Mr. McLuhan's devotion and service to his fellow soldier was apparent to all. As a medic in the two-day battle of Ni Wan Hill, Mr. McLuhan was credited with saving 10 members of his platoon, rushing back again and again onto the battlefield to save other soldiers, despite, despite being wounded himself, uh, hit by shrapnel and a grenade, and being shot in the arm. Mr. McLuhan's love for his fellow soldier kept him despite the horrendous conditions that he faced. His fellow soldiers knew that they could depend upon him to rescue them. What is amazing courage for a 23-year-old young man at the time. Mr. McLuhan's bravery and service was recognized with many decorations, including the Bronze Star Medal with V device and oak leaf cluster, the Purple Heart and Bronze Oak Leaf Cluster, the Good Conduct Medal, the Vietnam Service Medal, and three Bronze star Service Stars the Army uh, Valoris Unit Citation, National Defense Service Medal, the Republic of Vietnam Campaign Medal with 60 device, the Republic of Vietnam Cross Galant Galantry, and the Palms and One Oak Leaf Cluster and the Combat Medical Badge. And after all that, when I first met him, I just might add a personal story, uh, he uh, organized uh, the South Haven Memorial Day service time and time again, and was an amazing singer on top of that, and just a very humble person, or is a humble person. After the war, Mr. McLuhan returned home and continued to serve his country as a teacher in the South Haven High School, where he also coached. He was inducted into the Michigan High School Coaches Hall of Fame. Several years later, Mr. McLuhan's platoon leader, Randy Clark, campaigned for Mr. McLuhan to receive the Medal of Honor. The Medal of Honor is the United States of America's highest and most pre prestigious personal military decoration that may be awarded to recognize U.S. military service members who distinguish themselves by acts of valor. It must be awarded within five years of the act of valor. Congress recognized Mr. McLuhan's sacrifice and bravery and passed legislation waiving the five-year requirement. In July, Mr. McLuhan was presented with the Medal of Honor by President Trump. Five of his fellow soldiers that he saved were also in attendance that day. We owe our Vietnam veterans for their bravery in the Vietnam War. Too many were never thanked for their service. Most were scorned for their service to our country. Mr. McLuhan, on behalf of myself and uh, all those here that are in the Senate, you serve faithfully and we thank you so much for your service. We wish to present you with a special pin uh, to, of an anniversary of the Vietnam War and also a certificate and your country appreciates you and uh, his wonderful wife, Cherie, who I've known for years as well. So thank you so much. Thank you. Members, please help us thank Mr. McLuhan.